Hey everybody, uh, I'm just recording another clear presentation video blog post and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty handy tip um, regarding hyperlinking your slides. So today I'm going to just quickly tell you why you should do it and the next post will be about exactly how to do it. So uh, let's proceed. Let's uh, first go through a few bits and pieces. So. When you deliver a presentation, usually it's in a very linear format. So you go from the first slide all the way through to the last slide. Um, but what if you want to go from the second slide to the last slide? You know, jumping from here to here can actually prove quite hard. And usually what you have to do to get from one slide to the other is sometimes cycle through, you know, yada, 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 lots of information that's not uh, particularly relevant. So what you can do, and I've done it here, is hyperlink auto shapes to different slides. So further on down the deck, as you can see here, I have blue, green and yellow slides. So let's imagine that while giving this presentation, I want to quickly jump to the blue slide. And that's pretty easily done. These auto shapes down here are also hyperlinked to different slides in the deck. So I can go to the green slide or the yellow slide, or I can go right back to the slide where we start, which is these three here. So we've skipped the yada, yada, yada. Uh, these are the slides we went through. One interesting way to use hyperlinking with your slides is to have your main set of slides here, and then also an extra set of slides at the end of the presentation which go into maybe much greater detail on financials or, or strategy or complex stuff that maybe you don't need to present in the core set of slides but might be good to have afterwards. So let's say once you've finished your presentation and you're wrapping things up and now it's time for Q&A, if somebody asks you a question, you can have all these auto shapes here uh, linking to different pieces of information. So let's imagine somebody asks you about uh, something about customer breakdown and you have a slide fur further on down the deck that you think can help you uh, explain this better. Rather than cycling all the way through all these things to get to the slide you want, you can simply have your hyperlinked page which is here and you know exactly what slide it is you want. You want to click on breakdown and it's going to bring you right there. Uh, so that's a very uh, helpful way of using hyperlinks. You could also have a hyperlink here which will bring you back to the main page uh, which contains all the links. So hyperlinking can be very handy in presentations. It gives you a new way of, of navigating around and kind of allows you to step away slightly from the kind of rigidly linear way that presentations usually work. Next time I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do this in PowerPoint. It's not that hard and I think it'll be a valuable uh, trick to have up your sleeve um, in certain presentations. So thanks for watching and speak to you soon.